Every year, without fail, we see some pretty major surprises. The Green Bay Packers, I think, are a sneaky, excellent pick to be in the Super Bowl. How about we take a look around the league and see if we can pick out eight potential dark horse teams that could shock the world by winning Super Bowl 59. Green Bay Packers While there are a lot of people high on the Chicago Bears, let's face it, there are still a lot of unknowns in the Windy City. And with the Vikings in a very transitional phase, that only leaves the Lions as a relatively sure thing in terms of contenders. But again, this is the Detroit Lions, so who's to say that the carriage doesn't turn back into a pumpkin overnight? In any case, the NFC North is still pretty wide open, and the Packers proved last year that they are ready to contend post Aaron Rodgers. Jordan Love really came into his own during this stretch of the season, and if he can play smart, mistake-free football, the Packers could find themselves in the thick of the playoff race and even beyond. They have great leadership under Matt LaFleur, and the defense continues to shine with stars like Jair Alexander leading the way. So watch out, because this really could be the year in Green Bay. Tampa Bay Buccaneers The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are entering 2024 in a much much different position than they did in 2023, but it is still more than fair to call them a dark horse in the broader NFL landscape. There isn't the massive question mark at quarterback that there was heading into last year with the way that Baker Mayfield rallied the troops, but you know, that doesn't mean that they're completely out of the woods. Yeah, he has certainly earned the rings, and the nice payday that came with it thanks to the flashes of brilliance that he showed last year, thus ushering in a calmness following Tom Brady's retirement. But you know, let's face it, he's been an extremely streaky player his entire career. Under the right circumstances, he can play well enough to give this team a chance. Mayfield isn't expected to carry the team, rather, he'll be expected to manage games and let the defense do all the heavy lifting. Fortunately for Baker, the Bucks do still have an extremely formidable defense when healthy, as it's anchored by veteran stars Levante David and Vita Vea, and their head coach, Todd Bowles, is still one of the league's premier defensive coaches in the game. He may do his work in stunning silence, but he is still highly capable of scheming up ways to make life miserable for opposing quarterbacks. The good news doesn't stop there for Baker and the Bucks, though. The path to the playoffs in the NFC South is wide open again this year, meaning that the Bucks just need to take care of business in their division and grind out a couple of additional wins in the regular season, and boom, they can get into the postseason again with a guaranteed home game. And with Vita Vea expected to be back at full strength, once again, they'll have the kind of defense that can make a run. They're not the favorites by any means, but hey, don't be surprised if Tampa Bay is still standing come February. Jacksonville Jack Jaguars. The second half of last season was a disaster for the Jaguars, as they tripped, stumbled, and lost a huge lead in the AFC South and ended up missing the postseason entirely. But you know, not all was lost. When healthy, uh, that's the key here, because, well, he was extremely banged up when things went south for Jacksonville. But again, when healthy, Lawrence showed that he is ready to take that leap into the upper echelon of NFL quarterbacks. His chemistry with wide receiver Christian Kirk, along with the steady production of running back Travis Etienne, makes the Jaguars' offense one of the most explosive in the entire league. Calvin Ridley's departure does certainly hurt, but it always seemed like he favored Kirk anyway. Defensively, the Jaguars are loaded with young talent. Trayvon Walker, their number one overall pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, had a breakout season in year two, and now looks poised to emerge as one of the most dominant forces off the edge across from his running mate Josh Allen, who provides a reliable pass rush from the other side. The secondary, led by Tyson Campbell, is young but promising, and the group as a whole should take another step forward forward this season with some more experience under their belt. Thanks to the combination of head coach Doug Peterson and quarterback Trevor Lawrence, the Jaguars have the potential to be a legitimate contender in the AFC. Lawrence is on the precipice of establishing himself among the game's best, and Peterson has always known how to win. Don't be surprised if Jacksonville makes a deep playoff run, and heck, maybe even shocks the world by hoisting the Lombardi Trophy. Denver Broncos Last season was a nightmare for Denver, as Russell Wilson struggled mightily in his second and final year with the team. The offense was a complete disaster, even with the arrival of the highly regarded offensive genius Sean Payton. Payton has a history of getting the most out of his quarterbacks, and while he wasn't able to work his magic with Wilson, there is still new hope in the Mile High City. As the Broncos have turned the page,
page from the struggling vet and turned their attention to their first round draft pick out of Oregon, Bo Nix. Nix had a bit of a roller coaster college career, starting at Auburn before he finally made his name in Oregon, and now is going to be thrust into the spotlight as the Broncos' starting quarterback. With a team in transition and an ego mad head coach that has staked his name on the rookie's ability, there is a lot riding on Nix's shoulders. The good news for Nix and the Broncos is that the young quarterback's play style at Oregon should mesh well with what Sean Payton wants to do with this Denver offense. In college, Nix thrived on quick decisions and a clean pocket. And now you can bet that the Broncos will be looking to get the ball out of his hands fast with quick reads to the likes of Cortland Sutton on the outside or Javante Williams on check down. Denver's defense, on the other hand, is a lot more well established. Patrick Sertan II is the definition of a shutdown corner, and the front seven got some much needed depth this offseason with the addition of Malcolm Roach, which should help keep the D line fresh. If the offense can do its part, the Broncos have the potential to be one of the most well rounded teams in the league. Obviously, the AFC West is very tough, but if Denver can pull off some key divisional wins and build momentum, they could be a dangerous team in the playoffs, especially with Peyton at the helm and the team riding the magic of an inspired rookie QB. Pittsburgh Steelers The Pittsburgh Steelers are a team that should never be counted out, especially not under head coach Mike Tomlin's leadership. After all, since he took over from Bill Cowher, the Steelers have been a model of consistency. But now that Pittsburgh has cleansed its soul of Kenny Pickett and has two very intriguing options at quarterback with Justin Fields and Russell Wilson, this could be a year where they shock everyone and make a serious run at the Super Bowl. The offense has a solid group of playmakers, including running back Najee Harris and Jalen Warren, who make a fearsome duel out of the backfield capable of carrying the load on the ground and snagging passes in the flats. And wide receiver George Pickens is a bona fide star in the making. He just needs someone to throw him the damn ball. But the real strength of this team lies on the defensive side of the ball. You see, TJ Watt is one of the best players in the game regardless of position. Amongst pass rushers, he is second to none. And as long as he's healthy, the Steelers' defense is a force to be reckoned with. And the addition of Patrick Queen and linebacker only makes this unit stronger. Between those two studs and Minka Fitzpatrick patrolling the secondary, this defense has the potential to be one of the best in the entire league. The AFC North will still be a battle between Tomlin and that defense. All Pittsburgh needs is some competence at quarterback, and they're going to have a real shot. Los Angeles Chargers Now that Jim Harbaugh is sitting on the throne in the Los Angeles Chargers facilities, anything is possible for this otherwise eternally underachieving team. On the defensive side of the ball, the Chargers are absolutely loaded. Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack are two of the most feared pass rushers in the league, and their ability to get after the quarterback can change the complexion of any game. It'll be fascinating to see what they look like with Harbaugh dialing up the defense in the way that he's often done throughout his professional and college coaching career. Especially when you factor in the support that they have on the back end with the secondary led by the dynamic Derwin James. Oh, and did we mention Justin Herbert? You know, one of the most talented young signal colors in the game who was just waiting for the right coach to unlock him. It's going to be a big transitional year for the Chargers, no doubt, but sometimes these things change faster than people expect. And with Harbaugh's commitment to winning and the changes that they have made around Herbert to better protect him and fit that system that they want to play, the Chargers team might do the unthinkable and make a run at the Lombardi Trophy. Los Angeles Rams The Los Angeles Rams might seem like a long shot with the retirement of Aaron Donald, but think about how they rebounded from a disappointing 2022 season last year. That solidified to many that Sean McVay is still amongst the best head coaches in the entire game, and that this team still has a lot of talent and, lest we forget, a championship pedigree. Injuries decimated the Rams last year, and they still almost managed to make a deep playoff run. If they can just stay healthy, more specifically, if they can keep their veteran signal caller Matthew Stafford healthy, they have all the pieces to make a deep playoff run in 2024. Stafford is still one of the best quarterbacks in the league, and he has two superstars to throw to in Cooper Cup and now Puka Nakua. And remember, Cup was also sidelined for much of last season, but he is expected to be back at full strength in 2024. This could end up being one of the most dangerous passing attacks in the entire NFL. Phil, especially with Kyron Williams to keep the opposing defenses honest with his rushing ability. The Rams have shocked the world with their Super Bowl runs before, so who's to say that they don't do it again this year? Cleveland Browns Deshaun Watson is the linchpin for the Browns. After a rocky start to his Browns career coming off his massive off-field scandal, Watson is looking to prove that he is still one of the league's elite quarterbacks. He has all the weapons that he needs to succeed with wide receiver Omari Cooper and tight end David Njoku, which serve as reliable and explosive options in the passing game, and a potentially dominant running game led by Nick Chubb once he returns from injury. If he can find any semblance of his former self, the Browns could have one of the most balanced offenses in the NFL. 
Cleveland's real strength, however, is its defense. Miles Garrett is a perennial Defensive Player of the Year candidate, and with the addition of Zedarius Smith, Cleveland boasts one of the scariest pass rushing duos in the entire league. Their secondary, led by Denzel Ward, is also shaping up to look like one of the better ones in the AFC. With the pieces that they have in place, Cleveland has a slim but legitimate chance to break their long-standing championship drought and shock the NFL world by winning Super Bowl 59. But which dark horse pick to win the Super Bowl shocked you the most? Were there any here that you agreed with? Which ones do you disagree with? Was there anyone that you would have included on this list? Let us know in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.